And welcome back, everybody. Uh, for those few poor souls who are still with us, I am Sal. I am joined by uh, Sea Bear and Sea Bear. I heard you were going to sing us some wonderful songs today. Well, I'm not going to sing a song, but I'm ready to cast some uh, Lakeville. I've never actually played this map. I'm excited to see how it goes. It's King of the Hill, Sal. So we're up for some different rules. You want to run the rules down really quick for people who may not be familiar with uh, what's different between this and uh, Gorge, which we casted first. Yeah, probably should. You do see that the teams are pretty much converging on this central point right now. There is only one point, and you have to hold it for three minutes per round. That's what those little three-minute timers up there are for. Nope, nothing started yet because nobody's capped it yet. But you will see, it uh, looks like Team Notch right now in the blue grabbing the point, and now that timer starts ticking down. Once it reaches zero, the team wins. So Red Team now has to go find their way back onto the point, stand on it, and uh, capture it, then start holding it for those three minutes. So Team Notch in a pretty good position right now, Seabear. Yeah, it looks like they're going to push up. Some mad milk being thrown. Oh, sudden to Evan, who played so well in that first game on Gorge. Already with another double backstab onto the heavy medic combo. And make things a lot easier on his team by continually killing them. But of course, it's Robin Walker's team on the red. They're trying to push back onto this point. It looks like Team Robin is able to do it. Robin himself covered in some Jurati. He's probably smelling not so good. But that's all right. He's going to finally get shot down. The finishing P shot by The Wreck and his Sydney Sleeper Unlock Sniper Rifle. But Sal, looks like Red Team is re able to recapture with two minutes and 16 seconds left on the blue side. Uh, Red counting down now. Yeah, this could start to get to be a little bit of a close game here between these two teams. I'm glad they have been uh, pretty well balanced. Right now we do have this heavy medic combo here, and that is going to be of our good old Scam School Master and the medic, of course, uh, The Sucker, the pro medic from the European scene. Looks like our heavy went down, though. And now we have a little bit of a problem here as uh, I think Torden, you see how he's almost got that Uber ready to go. We might have an Uber battle here, man. We might have the most- Oh, wait a minute. Uh, he's popped the most dangerous creed. heavy in the world. Wow, he he popped the crits. I thought he maybe punched somebody really quick, but he <laughs> didn't. And you know what? That red, there, the blue medic is going to go down. There was no punching. The equalizer was out for a second, but he's going to get shut down by the wreck. Continuing to dominate people with his Sydney sleeper sniper rifle and blue recapped it with the times passing each other at 2 minutes and 12 seconds. We're having a close match here, Sal, as we watch Robin Walker walk up oh. with his uh, pipes. Look at those pipes by the TF2 master, the creator, able to get two, including Notch. So a little team leader on team leader love there, Sal. And you know, you'd think the developers would have a little bit of an advantage going into this. You know, like, I know how these pipes were coded, but... Uh, I made them, yes. <laughs> that's not always true. Oh, Scout coming in, and he does help take down this uh, heavy. But once again, you do see the wreck in that kill feed with that Sydney Sleeper. This map is so friendly to Sniper Sea Bear, and, and you told me that, uh, oh, no. that you don't have a lot of experience with it. No, I didn't, but I love this, the, the Egypt-like skin, and I'm a big fan of King of the Hill. I, I love that it's always action-y, and I think we're getting that right now. So you see Plasma with a backstab onto the red NG. Segfault goes down. I believe he was one of the uh, raffle winners, and he was, and he's dead, so getting his money is worth right now with the backstab, so... Yeah, man, I, I gotta say, I wish I had won one of these raffles, but I am, of course, quite happy to be casting it. It's almost as good as playing with these guys. I would Every time I killed Robin Walker, I would taunt if I was not on his team, and I think I'd be able to do it a few times, hopefully. But uh, we're seeing a lot of action on the point. Um, t 1 minute, 20 seconds, and counting for Notch's team, the and blue side. And we get to see Notch yeah, coming in, came, yeah. came in, Corey P able to drop the gun. A lot of action. We're just basically seeing always one or two at least uh, from each side fighting over this point. And Sal, as we stand right now, Blue Side's able just to get enough of an advantage to uh, keep the clock in their favor as they're about to cross under a minute, so 60 seconds left for Notch and his teammates here. That's looking pretty good so far. Now, Dr. Enforcicle here, the scout, gets that pick on the medic, of course. That's a very important one that he managed to chase down the pro medic there, uh, the sucker. Quite useful thing to do, and uh-oh, it's Warden coming uh -oh. up with the Uber Saw. He does get one hit, two hits. And that Uber saw, by the way, gives you 25% Uber on a successful hit. He's still using the Crits Creek too, which is an interesting choice. It's not that normal medigun. You don't get invincibility. Instead, you get to give your target three times damage. So we're going to see if he uses that on Notch. Might be pretty cool to see Notch with some critical rockets. And we do! He's going to start firing. He takes down the enemy medic right away. No Uber for you. Nice. Using that Crits Creek perfectly. I, I like the, the, the decision to run Crits on King of the Hill. So action-packed, your medic is dead a lot, so the Crits Creek does charge 25% faster, and especially faster when you get Uber Saw kills, which, of course, charges your Uber here. As we're getting down to it here, five seconds left on the clock and counting as Red's trying to make a final cap. Team Robin needs to get on the point, but look at overtime has sprung off, so that point capture, the red line there is, uh, it, as long as there's red time left, 
The round will continue, but someone from red needs to get on the point, and they're just getting cleaned up right now. Notch able to drop the sentry gun. The heavy is standing tall here. Notch is getting healed. Here comes Evan trying to last second backstab. Does get the heavy. Corey P is going to go down. He's able to get Notch as well, but look at the time. It's going to go off, and there it goes. Team Notch able to hold on with some last second beasting attempts from Evan, the PC gamer editor, Sal. Uh, first round is going to go to Team Notch. Now, are we playing to four here? Do you know? Uh, ooh, I actually don't. I think so, though, Sea Baron. Uh, I want to go real quick into uh, a little issue. You did see the crits coming out of that Crits Krieg Medigun. That's the only time you're ever going to see crits, pretty much, in a competitive game like this, because there's actually a format. It's, it's been very battle-tested, and random crits just don't work very well in competitive games. Yeah, RNG as any competitive game is is generally bad. I mean, you don't want to win or lose a game because you know you rolled the right uh, the right dice on the the one d a hundred dice and you you were congratulated with a crits rocket or something. But we are started this. Also, I take it you uh, you don't like Mario Party very much. I do actually, but I don't play it competitively. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, a lot of action on the point already. Looks like Red Side's doing all right, but look at this scout play by the Enforcicle. I love that name, as he was able to walk up and three-shot that red medic, which is a huge pick, Sal, because looking at Torden, the blue medic, he's doing just fine, and he has his crits or uber. I'm not sure if he changed or not. Yeah, it looks like a crits creep ready, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's, he's having to pop it, though, just to take down. And meanwhile, we've got a picture-in-picture -picture camera, interestingly enough. It is fish kill time as our blue scout does manage to chase down who even was it doesn't say on the kill feed doesn't matter when the fish oh, comes out long. pain is coming in man you're the most embarrassing uh it tells you every time you get hit you get fished like 14 times you get the times 14 just shaming people with it there's a lot of <laughs> fighting going on over that huge full life med pack as i see someone get uh, uber sawed down by the sucker so sal these medics are are getting in there with their uh, melee weapons and doing some damage yeah, it's always, it always feels good, man, when you can get those, uh, those Uber Saw kills in competitive combat. Traveler, of course, going to grab this full health kit you see there in the middle of the house. It's a very important thing to hold the house, but you can kind of get locked down in here if you have too many players in, so you got to be careful. Traveler right now going to connect with the sucker, and I think they're ready to go with an Uber. Yeah, they're just going to walk right in. Traveler, uh, of course, from the... Uh, I have it written down here. I, he... <laughs> Oh, he's the household hacker guy. Of course I knew that. Jeez, that's on the tip of my tongue. But he got in with that Uber effectively and got at least two. Um, that back-burning pyro. Really hard to stop, especially when Uber. But there's Robin's going to get backstabbed by Plasma. He's going to get two there, actually, before Robin able to pistol down somebody. And that's going to win them the point, looking at the clock. to other uh, Team Robin is about to cross the two-minute threshold here. And Team Notch at 225. So a pretty competitive round here. Team Robin looking to even it up here, Sal. They are. It's uh, actually Team Robin is a little bit ahead in the times right now, but yeah, they do do recall that uh, whoever wins that three-minute timer wins a round, and we're playing like first to get to four rounds. So yeah, Team Robin trying to even up the round score, and we do in fact have Robin using that sword. He gets taken <laughs> down, not able to quite connect. It's the extra range sword that he was using. He needed just a few more inches to drop the NG, but uh, maybe Robin will give that thing a little buff after that as we see Freddy Wong with a headshot onto Notch. Off camera, but we've seen some great sniping out of Freddy, and that's continued onto this map. Corey P able to drop Traveler as the point did end up going to blue, so Team Notch able to recapture, and they're past the two-minute time and counting as Red is going to crawl up there. They're going to pop an Uber. Not sure exactly what that Red Ooh. Medic saw, but he was afraid because of the crits that I didn't see. Look at Corey P walking in with a crit freak. Oh my god, it's heaven. Look at all the crit minigun kills. He's got at least three. He's going to try to make it four. The crits are out, but Sal, so much damage being done. When you, when you have targets with the critting heavy, it is so much fun. Everything it absolutely is. is. I, I got to say that... Uh... Running crits heavy on any map, any pub server, any whatever, it, it feels good when people just line up for the minigun. Even in uh, even in competitive Highlander, like we're seeing now, it it uh, happens quite a bit. And once again, we do see Zephos there jumping in towards uh, the enemy team, but pretty much uh, you know one demo man against an entire nine man team. Not going to work too well. Unless you're Banny, the best competitive demo in the game, you'll kill everybody and laugh it off. That's true. As we do see. 
A lot of fighting continuing on by this huge health pack as Red is able to clean them up there. It looks like if there is some some kind of strategy, they're trying to take that back room and then go to the point. It's worked out alright for them as they're still holding on to a bit of a 15 second lead. Or I'm sorry, actually they were 15 seconds down, but they look like they want to recapture it here. Great positioning on the point uh, for Team Robin. Look at that heavy uh, scam school Brian just dropping the pain. Continually spun up doing tons of damage here as uh, times are going to be uh, even past in a minute and seven and uh, now Team Robin is uh, pulling out to a bit of a lead here. Sal as the action is getting a little bit crazy. Oh. <laughs> a little back and forth. Look at Robin chopping Notch's head off. Just a, a, a LOL moment there for uh, Robin Walker. The biggest grudge match between uh, the Valve developer and the indie developer and, and so far it looks like Notch taking the worst of it but you know his, his team is one map ahead so far. They won the last one. And his, his little in-game head uh, hat thing that he has, which makes him look like a Minecraft character, is the coolest thing that I've ever seen in this game, and I want it! As uh, two frags are going to go off here for Team Notch. 30 seconds and counting for the red side. Um, that Sydney Sleeper continuing to rack up kills as Sigfault is going to go down again. But look at Exceptos. Yeah, Zephos. Ex 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 One Sephos. of the Simon and Lewis talk. pair Jeez. on the Yogg's cast. <laughs> it's there able to uh, cap the point. Yeah, silly me, as uh, Freddy Wong is going to walk up really close and get sniped just before he could dome that heavy. 16 seconds left for Team Robin, but uh, Team Notch does have the point, and they're at 50 seconds and counting here, Sal. Looks like they're going to be able to run some time off. Yeah, they will. It's, it might just get down to the wire here at the end of the round, as both teams are going to try their best to maintain control at this point. Right now, I think we're going to see a crits heavy pretty soon here, as the crits Creek is ready for Torden. The sucker has no uber to counter this. And Corey P, oh, activating the crits right now. It is time for everyone to die. That's hero mode heavy right there. Just like, I uh, just pop the crits, medic. I got this. And like we saw five or six go down. That's a huge play. 20 seconds now on the clock for the blue side. Notch trying to go up two rounds to one here over Team Robin. But Team Robin's not done yet. They're going to try to come back out there and uh, cap it with these last 15 seconds. Notch is going to go down again to Evan, who's the sneakiest spy I have ever seen in the Highlander environment. He's just everywhere backstabbing left and right. And uh, Red is able to pick up some frags here, Sal. They're going to try to make it uh, uh, down to the wire. Maybe both teams with zero seconds left as we already see blue at zero. But Red right behind them as they've recaptured. So uh, time for a very close finish, Sal. So. It is. Um, and of course, we are in that overtime. So if blue team caps the point at all, they win the round. But it looks like Team Robin, with the uber popped on the point, they're actually in a good position to take this round here. And that's it. It is now one to one. It's all tied up, Seabear. What a round! That was great! Uh, it's a lot of crit heavies. Nothing makes me happier than watching a crit heavy kill like eight people, which we saw I think twice, so more of that please, game, as we're gonna float up above in this docile moment here, waiting for both teams to emerge onto the point and continue to hurt each other with their weapons. Looks like both teams are electing to go into that little temple area on the left. They love that huge health pack and just a ton of damage going off on both sides. You can see the pyros kind of toasting each other, but Robin is going to go down first, so no sword and uh, board demo. That'd be a little bit of a problem, as uh, teams are exchanging frags here, Sal, in that temple area. Not even really bothering about the point, but it looks like when it comes down to it, blue side is uh, in a big, a bit of an advantage capping the point. Well, a good uber pop here. I'm kind of surprised uh, the sucker got his uber way before Torden did. It looks like Torden isn't even healing anybody right now, not building that uber. He's stuck on 96%. So he must be running back to spawn or no, he's having a fight here inside the house. That's what's oh, happening. Oh, and he gets taken down by the suckers, uh, Uber saw. So I got to say, Torden's just a little bit out of practice here. The sucker showing off that top tier uh, EU competitive medic skills right there. Got a saw to get his Uber first, stayed alive throughout the whole thing, and then ended up killing the medic with 96 for the biggest frag of the, of the game so far. It's going to open it up for his team, too, although um, on the clock we have 237 for blue, 240 as we see the Enforcical with a nice 4 or 5 shot on the Sniper just ends his life. We do see a bottle kill. Uh, Evan is going to go down there, but look at a double stab by the blue spy. We didn't catch that on camera, but both spies now, Sal, starting to do quite a bit of damage here as uh, both times around 230 as uh, looks like Team Notch is trying to uh, get back in this one here. But they are. They've grabbed the point once again, and... Um... Oh shoot, I had something to say and I completely forgot what it was, but right now, oh, oh no. man. <laughs> it's the best when you're casting and just forget. Well no, it's, you know what it was? It was about Freddy Wong and Freddy just keeps getting harassed by Dr. Enforcical nonstop. That's another fish kill on Freddy. He's not happy about that at all. 
I'm not sure what the uh, the code is there, but Freddie Wong is going to go a little, show a little rage there. Um, almost borderline swear out of Freddie Wong. So stop fishing me, please, young man. As we see the pyro medic action here, medic didn't jump in the water to cure himself of the fire, though he does get the needle kill onto the spy. So that'll work out pretty well for him. Just continual action on the point here, Sal. As we've seen all game long. Uh, makes me kind of want to play this map now. Yeah, well, I mean, pub servers are available 24-7 with uh, Koth Lakeside. <laughs> As you see, both teams trying to cap the point. 140 and counting for Team Notch. It's like uh, Team Robin's just not able to sustain on the point during this round here. And Robin's going for another sword kill, but that's a Russian with a, with a minigun, and that's that's tough to deal with as Robin's going to get dropped down. For the domination kill, Sal, it's got to feel good to dominate the uh, creator of TF2. Though. I think, uh, you know what, I don't think I actually did, but the last time this was played, they had a little bit of time after uh, after the rounds were over, and here's an Uber popped on the point to save it from being capped. But, you know, after the after the games were over, they just went and played some some two fort, and they let the casters and everybody else come in and play as well. Freddie Wong with a nice little huntsman arrow shot on Notch, and uh, the, the entire time, pretty much all I did was sticky jumper caber. <laughs> I would I would love to see that right now. The sticky jumper for soldier. There's a there's a sticky or a soldier rocket jumper. Doesn't do any damage to you, so you can jump around the map basically free of damage and just do all sorts of bring the pain there. And as Sal likes to do, apparently embarrass people by sticky jumpering into them, doing no damage, and then instantly killing them with your uh, bomb on a stick melee weapon. So Sal trolling the competitors here. Um, as I talk, this round is, is evening up pretty nicely. Both teams at 129 and counting. Lots of fighting on the point. Notch is going to go down again to Evan, so he's got just a ton of backstabs, does Evan, through both games. We're going to look over here at the wreck, who's got his Sydney sleeper up. It is a gun that somehow Sal shoots urine at people and uh, makes them take mini crit damage after they are hit as the blue side is able to recapture. About a minute and five seconds will be left for red, as blue does finally capture that traveler, trying to get up there as the pyro and do some damage. But again, the Russian minigun, quite strong, Sal, as uh, looks like uh, Team Robin is trying to uh, trying to recapture the point here. They oh, they're gonna have, have a, a tough time. Torden's got that uber charge ready once again. It might be another crits Krieg, and he may be going with Notch. Here you go. Notch gonna fire those critical rockets, takes down uh, Brian right away from Scam School. He's gonna go for another couple rocket hits here, but he actually missed this next one on Captain Sparkles. And now they are in some trouble down here in the valley. That's gonna be uh, Torden taken out. Torden did get a needle kill on Traveler, but you know, losing your medic, that's a pretty big deal when you're uh, trying to hold on to a point like this. Yeah, Robin and company are gonna are gonna just uh, capitalize on that all over the point. Look at that sentry gun. I think that's the third kill it's got. It's just a mini sentry. You can't upgrade it, but look at all the damage it's doing. Sigvault. The uh, raffle winner showing how it's done, playing some Highlander NG at a very high level right now. So the wreck is going to go down as well. The sucker with another Uber saw kill. We're seeing both medic Sal just rack up a ton of frags. Yeah, you, you think you got what it takes to play medic against these guys? Good luck. That's all I have to say about that. Sucker will suck your face and then add it to his uber charge as both medics are pretty even right now we haven't seen a ton of ubers because in highlander especially at a point like this these teams just want to go fight they don't want to build uber we see that a lot in competitive play just you do whatever you can to get your uber up these guys are like nah we're gonna go fight <laughs> as uh the wreck with another sydney sleeper kill this time a domination onto evan so oh, evan is gonna go down crits. another under robin there's the crit heavy though but oh he gets backstabbed by uh, evan was on the respawn just in time Chris is going to go to the pyro, but he can't throw those flames far enough to light anyone critically on fire. Sal, this one looks like it's going to go down to the, uh, the wire here as blue recaps. Yeah, and they're recapturing this time around. Red did not manage to get it to go into overtime, so they still got seven seconds left after they recapture if they want to win the round. Um, I mean, if they don't want to win the round, that's cool. We can just, uh, you know, have a little peace and love, set up a drum circle. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for that. We'll sing Kumbaya and have fun with each other. Uh, Freddy Wong with that arrow kill. So he's been able to stay alive longer since he switched to the bow and arrow. We call it the Huntsman here as a exchange of frags go off here in blue side. is holding on right now. Seven seconds left for Notch. Sal, you think they're going to be able to get back up here? The medic is taking it on himself to run up with a bone saw, but he's not going to be able to do it. Desperation last moments on the clock for Red. Will they be able to stop it? No, it looks like... Oh, Phil loves puppies, gets arrowed down. This there actually, Sal, are on the point now. Red with a last second comeback. They might actually get this, and, and I think they will. Yeah, it turns out being really aggressive actually pays off sometimes. But, I mean, to be fair, that was kind of uh, Team Notch's round to lose. They do have somebody on the point capping right now, and it is going to be a Demo Man oh melee God. battle. But a spy coming in to try and wreck this. Doesn't even matter. Robin gets the kill with his Sword of Justice. <laughs> 
best end of Highlander round ever. When it comes down to four guys running around in a circle, meleeing each other, that's pretty strong. And it looks like we're GGing out here. I'm oh, not we... sure if we're done, Sal. Maybe they are playing best first to, or best of three. Uh, might be first, first two. two th I don't know because there's still a lot of time left on this video. They're saying best okay, of five now, right. so I think they will play one more round. They threw me off with the GGs, but we're we're gonna keep <laughs> going, I guess. Round uh, number three or four is going to start here. Robin, the domination kill over his uh, counterpart demo. So red demo better than blue demo. Here comes a flanking spy, but we're going to switch off of him. Notch is able to stop the red spy. So uh, looks like PC gamer guy not going to get the three stabs that we've seen. But in the meantime, uh, Team Robin just going to kind of waltz onto the point cell and cap it pretty easily here for the first cap of the game. Yeah, and once again, those critical lasers coming out of the minigun there for the heavy just for a moment. They got a couple of crit kills there, although Freddy doing a pretty good job himself with that Huntsman bow and arrow. Where'd he go right now? What are we looking at here? The the water? Okay, there's water down there, just so you know. We're in the water. I think a medic was uber sawed by the other medic in the water, and we followed to go look uh -huh. at his body, I think. Well, right now, of course, blue team, uh, uh, this is right. Team Notch holding firmly onto the point. And so they, you know, they're a little bit down in the time by about 30 seconds, but especially with Highlander, there's just so many players hanging around. 30 seconds isn't a bad little trading time. Uh, if you can hold onto it for a minute or two, then you are in the zone. I'm trying to see if, if, if Evan is running the Dead Ringer spy uh, item. It seems like he's running in and dying a lot, but I'm not sure. It's hard to tell with this camera angle if he is or not. I think he might be, which is a great little tool for spies. You can fake a death and then come back and continue your backstabbing. As look at all the frags coming out by Blue. Frags and the destruction of built items as uh, Blue is able to uh, maintain their position on the point here. 220 and counting. Uh, Building up a smallish lead, but like you said, Sal, in this game, it seems like it's a lot of back and forth. So a tiny lead for Team Notch, but Team Robin probably will be ready to recapture that suit. Yeah, and you got to feel bad for Simon and Lewis right now, man. Uh, are actually feeling pretty good because they are, of course, on Team Notch. That's Zephos and, oh, where's his friend Honeydew? Honeydew down right now, just respawns. We'll see him back in a little bit. But, uh, of course, Spy having some trouble over here as El Plasma. Actually, no, he does grab a health kit, so he will be... Uh, Looking back for some stabs. Gets that Enforcer kill on Traveler. And that Enforcer is a uh, upgraded revolver that just does more damage. It kind of messes with your cloak time a little bit. And there you go, Plasma. Once he commits, he can't cloak back up, pretty much. Enforcer does sound awesome, too. As we do have some in-game coming in here. I'm not sure who's talking or why, but I'm going to break his neck Steven Seagal style. You'll never hear him again. I mean, that'll get cut out of the final video. I think we'll be fine. Nobody's going to hear that. They're going to be like, what are the casters talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what are they talking about? Well, someone talked, maybe. Um, in the meantime, look at that. Actually, great time being run off by Notch. I said, Team Robin, probably will cap it back pretty soon. But, uh, oh, Brian from Scam School gets shut down right before he was going to capture the point as heavy. As uh, looks like that blue spy cell is using that icicle. So when he stabs somebody, they just look at, they just sit there frozen in, in kind of a, hilar a hilarious little spot. As uh, finally, the point is going to be captured off here. Two minutes and 25 seconds. They're a minute and 20 seconds behind, Sal. So a lot of work for Team Notch to, uh, or I'm sorry, for Team Robin to stay in this one. Yeah, and you see there's already a lot of time on the point. Now, Notch did just get uh, taken down. He got a kill on Evan, but actually it looks like Evan's still alive. That was that dead ringer kill you were talking about. So he, he got a fake death off of Evan, and then Evan immediately decloaked and went back in for some more kills. Uh, it's, it's one of the beautiful things about Highlander Spy is that dead ringer is allowed in most of the competitive leagues. So you will see, uh, you will see spies just never, ever dying and being completely annoying to the enemy team. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's sort of trolling, like, you, you're just always around, it's like, I think I might have killed a spy, but he's dead ringering, I don't know if he's dead or not, so I guess, I don't know, there's someone else, oh, I got backstabbed by the guy I thought I killed, uh -huh, now I'm very angry. Um, yeah, some of this game, though, Highlander, just kind of comes down to who can out-troll the other team, and I'm, I'm a big fan of that, so I think that we should play this game more with the aim to troll each other, because it's, it's pretty fun. Yeah, it looks like Freddy Wong going in Call of Duty style, using the sniper's <laughs> SMG. Just uh, running around on the point and seeing if he can't get some, some close-up kills there. Ooh. He does manage to get a nice one on, on uh, Honeydew in the back with an arrow. Yeah, he's playing Modern Warfare uh, 1 back to the uh, Stone Age with his bow and arrow. As uh, looks like Blue Center will be able to recapture that. But nice uh, time there run off by Team 
Robin as it's one minute and ten seconds left, but Blue has the point now. We do see the mini sentry up there doing so much damage, but uh, wow, the sucker with a either a needle kill or maybe a crossbow kill for the win as uh, with Blue having the point. Red def definitely needs to get that point back as uh, 40 seconds and counting. Uh, it's getting down to it here in this round as uh, looks like the heavy is back for more fun. Just constant fighting going on over the point. The heavy has his medic. Look at that. Brian just so powerful, so Russian. Just walking up and dropping as uh, here comes Notch with this awesome hat. It's going to get drop down to uh, the sorrow of all the casters involved. We love watching that big head bounce around, Sal. But uh, 20 seconds and counting here. Team Notch looks good. You know, I wonder if they changed his hitbox on his head with that, uh, with that I hat. I don't know. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Because they didn't. I mean, how do you aim at his head, right? It's, it's a big block. Yeah, how do you miss his head if it, if it isn't then? It's just like this huge, like, SpongeBob-like head that you can just hit from across the map. But uh, I gotta say, though, in all, in all honesty, as we count down here, there is overtime, Sal. It is the best hat thing. It's individual to notch, to notch, and it is awesome. I, I want it badly. I would do bad things to people to get it, so... Uh, a lot of fighting going on at the very end here. Blue side trying to finish this round off, but look at... Again, Evan and company not ready to go, but look at... Torted with the Uber saw kill. Whipping through his weapons here. He's gonna try to heal his NG. He's trying to end the game. Backstab, freezing that demo in a pillar of ice. And that's gonna do it. It's going to be 2 2. So we are tied up. Uh, looks like a, a pretty classic finish here, so. Yeah, I'm wondering now if maybe Red Team is kind of regretting allowing this game to continue. They could have just said GG and left the game. And then, uh, <laughs> then they could have won by default. You know, their opponents would have said, oh, I guess we're going to the next map now. We're good sports here, though, in the mix-up Highlander. And that's what we want to see. More fun as uh, round uh, number five is going to start here. Robin with the first kill onto uh, the blue demo, of course. Uh, Robin doing pretty well on the demo v. demo front as he's showing off his game. Look at that! Freddy Wong with a... Oh, I got a spy kill accidentally uh, onto El Plasma, who did uh, send that heavy back to the Ice Age there with the stab. But looks like Red's getting the best of this. Freddy Wong, Sal, ever since switching to the bow and arrow, has been a force out there. Yeah, but the entire game, the Rex has been a force. And, and this sniper, we're going to be watching his uh, Sydney sleeper cam shooting jars of his own urine at people. That is just so disgusting. He manages to... Uh, Force a dead ringer hit there on Evan, but Evan will be back in the fight in no time. And, uh, oh, big old jump stab coming in, potentially. There you go. Takes down. Where did that ice statue go? I don't even see it anymore. It melted because he's in he's in a desert, Sal. Come on. Sometimes it's on the shade. The sun will get to you early or something. I don't know. But both Ubers were popped blue way before red as a team notch. He's going to get kind of cleaned up here. Evan's coming in for the... 500th backstab onto Corey P. Corey P's got to be so mad. Like, dude, please stop stabbing me every turn of the game. Evan's trying to finish off this soldier. The dead ringer uh, watch is out. So he's going to get shot down, but he's still alive. I don't know if this soldier realizes it. We're going to stay on Evan, though, as he's sneaking around. He hears the P gun, Sal. He's going to get revenge for his many fallen teammates. Going to stab him right in the back. That awful, juicy backstab noise as uh, finally <laughs> blues him. And he's using, a, he's using a set that Valve introduced to the game. This is not usually allowed in most Highlander games, but I don't think there were any bans for this one. But that set, uh, normally the Dead Ringer makes a really loud noise when you decloak, yeah. but if you use the right items with it, it actually doesn't make any noise at all. I not know that, Sal. Thank you. That's really cool. I want to get that set and troll pubs with it. Well, so you have to have the hat. It's, it's a little fez, but you also have to use that knife he's using right now called Your Eternal Reward, which makes it so that uh, you cannot choose your own disguise you have to stab people and take their disguise. So you start the round out with no disguise at all. Ah, so it's for the the high level, the risk reward of, uh, of the spy, but he's uh, made it work pretty well here as Evan. So um, as we stand right now, two minutes run, or a minute run off, two minutes on the board and counting. Uh, for Team Noach. It looks like Robin's team hasn't gotten on the board yet, uh, though they're poking up towards the point now. Uh, the sucker scaring off that spy with his uber saw. He's gotten so maybe the bonk is going to trip the, uh, <laughs> the dead ringer. I haven't seen that in a while. The bonk. So funny, Sal, when you get hit by the baseball and it's just like, oh, get trolled. Yeah, of course, that baseball, the farther away you hit somebody with the baseball, the, the worse of a stun it does. You can actually, if you hit from across the map, cause someone to just completely stand still for like 10 seconds. It's awful. And there you go. Once again, not get the stun <laughs> for a couple seconds there. Uh, but he will continue laying down rocket spam on this point, trying to help his team get up and capture. They've gotten a few kills, including Brian, who is uh, spawning in a couple seconds here so he can waddle his way back to the point as the heavy. But yeah, uh, Blue Point continuing the capture. And they want to maintain their lead in the time. Right now, I think they'll be able to do that. Yeah, 
Uh, Freddy Wong again, just uh, like a medieval archer sending arrows back and forth! The second one on the Doctor and Forsicle! The dome! Close range on the scout, Freddy Wong, so good, as he's just juking this heavy now. He's gonna grab the, the health pack right in front of him. He's gonna try to end his life with another arrow style, but Freddy Wong, possibly the best arrower we've seen in the Highlander setting, just uh, getting so many headshots. Well, he does go to video game high school, so... Uh, That's right. I'm, I'm pretty sure that... If he hasn't learned about using a bow and arrow yet, he probably should. It's like Top Shot, that show. Go to it's that like class. He's the best at that. He could mentor people, you know? He, he could, like, get paid to tutor the other kids at video game high school. Yeah. I would I would sign up for his class. Arrowing 105. How to dome the heavy. Oh, but he's going to get destroyed by the wreck. So the urine gun, while I believe it can't headshot, does, as you guys see, do quite a bit. And if he doesn't get that kill, they are permanently, or not permanently, they are, for the next 10 seconds or so, covered in Jurati, which makes them easy to be cleaned up by the rest of his team. Just a really nice gun. Banned and competitive, but of course allowed here, as we are seeing Blue recapture. A nice team little push there. Five or six of them just walk on the point. They do pop crits behind. We're going to see if Noach can get a last crit second shot there. No. Freddy Wong trying to make something happen. Does get an SMG kill. Actually, Actually, an arrow kill too. So Freddie Wong continuing to just rack up the frags. Well, you know this guy, uh, the master of first-person shooter games, and right now we've got a nice little teleporter set up there for the red team. I do like that they can teleport their people instantly from spawn all the way to the point in just like, well, I said instantly. I guess I don't need to say anything else, do I? No, it's pretty good. It's it's good. It's good in-game thinking too. Get that heavy to the point as much as you can. Remember, he's slow and rushing, but if you have a teleporter, he's only just rushing. Yeah, and of course, uh, with the Kritzkrieg, he's also uh, an impromptu Russian disco ball. But That's right. Uh, right now, we're having some trouble here as Team Robin is unable to capture the point. They are down to only three players, a couple respawning all the way back there. I mean, they might still have that teleporter. I didn't see. No, it's actually been taken down. You see that little uh, in the kill feed notification there. El Plasma, the spy, put his zapper on the teleporter, and that destroyed it. One thing I like about this is is it's not just um, one sort of uh, set you see. Each each character is going through different unlocks. We saw the blue demo now. He's actually running kind of a, uh, a generic, what you see every day in the competitive field, just stickies and, and, and pipes, while Robin is continuing to uh, go after people with that charging shield and trying to collect heads. But uh, right now, the stickies are pretty good, as we see by the score. Overtime is triggered as zero seconds on the clock for Blue Noach, looking to, uh, I think, maybe even just win this straight up here. He just might. Um, but Red's trying to stop this as a uh, last second damage here, but look at Noach, able to drop Traveler. He still has his medic in tow, Sal, so Blue Side is able to win it three to two as the GG's do go out here, so that's gonna do it here. Uh, Sal, you wanna send us off? I think I probably should. That looks like an incredible game there, and of course we have the scoreboard up right now. Team Notch taking it away at the end. You see all the domination medals on their side. The Wreck, even though he didn't have a lot of points there, four dominations for him. So that was an incredible round, and of course you guys can check us out uh, over at XTV. We cover all of the competitive, both, uh, both the low-level stuff like this and the high-level, like, ultra-competitive 6v6 stuff. Uh, xtelevision.com, or you can check us out on twitch.tv slash XTV Esports. See, Bear, got any shout-outs from you? No, just make sure you check out that site, um, extelevision.com. It's not just the X. Um, yeah, yeah. A lot of great coverage there, so that'll do it for us. We'll go on to our third map. Yeah, do stay tuned, guys. Stick with us for the Badwater final round. Yeah.